Hey hi everyone this is Admin from Admin365 and today we are going to talk about how to fix Office 365 applications crashing, not responding and freezing issue. So do watch this video from start to end to know about each step. Before we start the topic a small introduction about me. I currently work as Microsoft 365 support ambassador for microsoft our day-to-day -day routine is to take care of service requests created around microsoft 365 products and services so please do consider subscribing for exclusive content and the resolutions for common issues with office 365 and let's resume the topic the office application be it outlook word excel or any other application if it is freezing uh, not responding and even crashing sometimes so you might want to check few things first uh, the first thing which we want to check is to check if the operating system which you are using is up to date or not so be it windows or a mac uh, it has to be up to date so uh, we can just on the windows machine we can just search for update and i will get this option check for updates we just have to go in here and check if there is any update and update it uh, and uh, this is the option where we can click uh, to know if there is any update and uh, i do have a feature update here but if you see any update pending and you face issues with the application you will have to make sure that you are up to date with the operating system and once your operating system is updated uh, go to the office applications and uh, we'll make sure that the office application are up to date uh, every operating system version does have a different office 365 version for it so once we update the operating system we'll update the office application as well but that you just have to launch any one of the office application uh, go to account or that or if it is outlook then file and then account and once you are here you just have to click on update option and update now if there is any update it will trigger that and it will initiate that and once all the application are updated to check the behavior if it is still having the issue uh, then you might want to check uh, the storage on your computer if the ram is sufficient or not office works completely fine with 8 gigabytes ram on the computer so if you have eight or more ram on the computer that should be perfectly fine that should not be an issue we can try uninstallation and reinstallation of office application for that you can just go to control panel and in control panel we'll go to programs and features And in here you just have to check the office to make sure that you are having the right version on the computer. So you just have to select it to uninstall and uh, then click on uninstall it will start the in uninstallation. And once we have uninstalled uh, you can just go back to the portal and sign in with your accounts on the office.com and you can just click on install office and install it from here it will begin the installation and then you can check if it is working fine for you or not most of the time it should work fine after this step but if you still face the issue you might want to try it on a different windows profile so uh, when i say different windows profile it means that uh, a profile which you use to log on to the computer when you start the computer so if you don't have any other log on id on the computer you can simply create it from the setting itself uh, you just have to go to accounts settings and 
add edit or remove any account and and then uh, you just have to go to family and other user and in other user you just have to click on add someone else to the pc it will ask you to provide all the information uh, you can skip where it asks for the microsoft id uh, here you can just click on i don't have the person sign in information and add a user without a microsoft And once you have done that, uh, you can just sign off from the computer. Try it with the account which you have just created. Check uh, the office or the application which you are having issues with. Check the behavior of it on a new Windows profile. If it works fine on that profile, then uh, the probable reason is your profile which is not allowing the office application to work properly. Maybe it is corrupted in case you still have the issue. For us to install that version of Office, we just have to run this command in the Windows Run. Uh, this is the version of the Office. Uh, it will basically downgrade the Office application from the current version. All the features should be the same. It will just improve the stability. You can give it a try as well. You just have to open run by just typing on run in search and then you just have to copy the entire part of the command here, paste it in here and hit OK. Once you do that, uh, you will get a Microsoft prompt waiting for the update and stuff as you can see here. I have the same exact version of Office. I don't think it will do anything there. But yeah, you will see all all the stuff. You will see downloading Office update and it will update it in the background as well. With that being said, this is the step which you can give. Try to fix your issues with Outlook or Office application not working as normal. And in case if you have any question, doubt, you can drop it in the comment section. and. Please do subscribe as well and you have a nice day.